everything that ends up on the A&W menu starts right here. The toasted bun, we have our piri piri aioli. This kitchen, a battlefield in the fast food wars. Companies duking it out to come up with the next viral sensation. The next Crunchwrap Supreme, Grimace Milkshake, or Pumpkin Spice Latte. How important is it to have these new menu items to hang on to your existing customers and to find new ones? Um, I would say extremely important. If you look at our journey between 1956 and Winnipeg to today, the menu doesn't look the same. We are all fighting for that same guest and the new exciting menu items help them to come to the top, top of mind for, you know what, like, ANW is doing that new burger, I want to go and try it. At A&W, the latest creation is a Piri Piri burger. It starts with a bun, a new spicy sauce, instead of a beef patty, adds a hash brown. It's based on a menu hack, cooked up by South Asian Canadians. I'm from India and there's a big, big population of vegetarian folks there. Shifting demographics are a key part of why restaurants mix up their menus in the first place. Customers are changing, so are their palates, and these days, burger chains aren't just competing with other burger chains. It's the smaller operators and even some of the independents who are growing, and they tend to serve more globally inspired cuisine now with the economic situation. So if the brands want to grow, they're going to have to steal customers. Next up from a very different part of the world, this is a Moroccan hot pepper aioli. Mm. It takes anywhere from a few weeks to several years to come up with a new menu item. The final product has to taste good and come out the same way every time. There's just a difference between the way I can whisk up a sauce and a, a gigantic machine that's making literally hundreds and hundreds and thousands of liters of this. It needs to work in those very, very tough kitchen environments. Time-consuming work, but experts say there's more of it happening. Many test kitchens closed during the pandemic, and restaurants trim their menus to save money. But these days... That wave of innovation is flooding back into the market right now. So it's certainly busier now than it has been in five years. For its part, A&W has more than 70 new products in the works, though only a few will make their way to an actual menu. Paula Duhacek, CBC News, Vancouver.